Hello Collective. Today is for you, Pisces. If you're a Pisces or you know a Pisces, I'm going to do this little reading. Um, You know, uh, your core representation as Pisces is compassion, receptivity, and kindheartedness. You are innately sympathetic to people and all living things. Your heightened spiritual awareness can guide you to achieve your dreams. Your essence is inventive, creative, impressionable, and romantic. You thrive in artistic environments where you can be emotionally expressive. You work hard for causes that inspire your passion. Your talents are imaginative and mystical. You magically attract abundance through your intuition and the belief in your own ability to manifest. See? So keep so keep that, okay, Pisces? Keep this knowing that you're able to manifest things into your life and... Um, that way, you know, stuff will come to you. Okay, Pisces? Let me get one of these uh, Twin Flame and Ascension cards. Oh, gosh, the generator. You need to stay grounded, Pisces. Stay grounded in whatever, <clears throat> you know. Stay grounded in your beliefs. Go outside and um, just go outside today. If it's pretty outside, it's pretty here. Day 125, my birthday. Yeah, you need to go outside today and... Just remember to always stay grounded and meditate, okay? That's all you got to do, Pisces. And I love you guys, and I appreciate you. Oh, you're a high priestess, and you are. You are, Pisces. You're expanding your consciousness. You're staying grounded, and you're expanding your consciousness. You, you're probably seeing fours a lot and tens. Your birthday could be the 20th, the 24th, the 4th, or the 8th, or the 2nd. Oh, wow. And then we got 3-3, three, three, Merkaba activation. Ground, shield, and protect your energy here. I'm helping to protect your energy, Pisces. I love you. You know, in three, your birthday might be the sixth or the third, okay? I'm going to get one more of these. I like these cards. Not many people has them. Mm -mm. That's why I like them. Oh, gosh. 10-10, Re reunion, reconciling differences. So, you might be reconciling differences at the moment with, you know, this could be a soulmate of yours. And uh, you've, you've had to, uh, you know, change your mindset about this. And you got to protect your energy and shield it. And don't let nobody get to you. And speak your truth, Pisces, and express yourself and what you need. That's what Spirit wanted you to know today, okay? Or person that's inquiring on Pisces. Um, let me get, let me see what these cards say. Protect. You're, you're very protective and loving and you, you, you care for people. You're a nurturer. You're a lover. You're very compassionate. I know my mother's a Pisces and I love that woman and and every time I see my mama, I give her the biggest hug because I don't live around her. But but somebody wants to protect you or you're protecting somebody else, Pisces. You protect the ones you love. You've been very protective maybe because, you know, death came out. Maybe, maybe you um, went through an ending and you had to protect you and your kids. Or uh, maybe... It's talking about a rebirth, okay? But you need to you need to protect yourself and protect death memory. Okay, so I believe that's a moth right here. Something coming out of its cocoon. You need to protect your memories at the moment. Somebody's trying to put an ending to something, Pisces. Uh, you know, this is about your the communicate. The way you communicate, that's a bat. Um, so protect your memories. Someone is trying to put an ending to your communication. And I and I knew that spirit. It's someone who's very cunning around. They're trying to um, turn everything that you say into something. And what they didn't know is that you are on a sacred journey, 444. And that you are... You're exactly where you need to be, Pisces. Don't think you're not, okay? And this is your sacred journey, and nobody can stop your sacred journey. They can they can act like that they can, but they can't, so don't worry. 
So you need to start communicating about your sacred connection and, uh, you know, about all these deaths. You, you probably had to put a lot of people to rest, and I have too, Pisces. And, you know, that's one of the great mysteries of life, you know, is figuring out things like that. And that's what it, that's what that's saying, okay? Oh, cruddy. Hang on, you get... Crap. Hang on, you guys. Let me push this back before I make a darn mess with everything. I'm going to use one of these in a minute. All right, so, spirit, can we have one of these? If it comes upside down, I'll turn it around because they're all mixed around, okay? What else for Pisces? Oh, Pisces. Pisces, they's a kitchen witch. Um, and I'm going to leave that in the upside down because... In the Upside Down, and this is a card that I made because there's a lot of voodoo uh, queens running around on YouTube, okay? It says, if you elf with me, I will go in the kitchen and make you a nice stew with them bones. So somebody's playing in magic. Somebody's playing magic against you, and you need to protect your memories because they're, put, they're trying to kill you off. They're trying to kill you off for good, Pisces, because you're a rebel, or you might have a rebel daughter, like my mommy does, you know. I rebel to shit, yeah. You know, you challenge authority to affect a social change. You re uh, you might have to reject spiritual systems that does not serve your inner needs. Yeah. So, it's, it's Kitchen Witch is going around telling people that, that you... Um, that you're angry and that you rebel, you rebel out of peer pressure. They're going around lying. Because they are uh, wounded, and they and this person, all they know how to do is blame all their dysfunctional relationships on their childhood wounds. They resist moving on through forgiveness, and, and I don't do that. But whoever this person is, Pisces, that's connected to you, or maybe this is you. Maybe you're still wounded about shit that happened in your childhood, and you need to stop because you're a child divine. You know, it's about innocence, purity, and redemption. Suggests a special connection with the divine. You are connected to the divine, to the divine, and that's why these people is trying to take you out. It's a bunch of shape shifting narcissists. It's a bunch of shape shifting narcissists. They uh, they're all about projecting in any image that serves their own personal agenda in the moment. That's what narcissists do. But you know you're smart, and I know you are, and that's that's what they do. Pisces, can we have one of these for Pisces spirit? We love you. And we thank you so very much, and we appreciate you. Well, it throwed out two, all right, Pisces? So what it said is, to each his own. Different perspectives, personal taste, agree to disagree, accept and allow others to be who they are and not who you want them to be. Let go of any desires to change anyone or control the way they do things and let them live their lives in their own way. So, Spirit's saying, uh, don't worry about what this person does. They have their own perspective, and you have yours. And if you're somebody like me, you don't believe in doing magic. But these people that keep doing magic, their magic's coming right back to them. Don't worry. I know how to send back their spells. A return to sender. I'll throw it back to them. They'll reap, reap what you sow. Karma. Two wrongs don't make a right. You get what you give. You need to control how you respond to things. Scent to disrupt your peace. Not every action deserves your reaction. Don't block or delay your blessings by trying to do people how they did you. So, like I just said, let them people go on and do what they need to do, and you just play your cards right. You know, you're, you're making strategic moves. You think smarter, not harder. You act right, and you execute a well-thought-out plan. Don't be in such a rush. Behave wisely in order to achieve your desired result. You are far too smart to fall for any bullshit. Let them play someone else for a fool. So, you know, you're smart enough. You you started letting them play somebody else for a fool. These people that's against you or whatever. So good for you. Good for you, Pisces. Good for you. Can we have a magic lucky one that nobody never seen before? A magic lucky that nobody ever seen for Pisces? Well, well, you got horseshoe. And, you know, it. this has came out before, but... 
It says, from 8th century Chaldeans in Babylon, in Babylon, believing that a horseshoe could protect them against the evil eye, to St. Dunstan, nailing one to the devil's foot. The horseshoe is one of the oldest symbols of luck made from iron, which is believed to have magical powers in folklore. And with seven holes in it, seven being the luckiest number, it will ward off bad luck and evil spirits and protect your home. So what it's saying is, you need to get you a horseshoe and... Put it over your door and like it said this will the chaldeans in babylon believe that this horseshoe would protect them against the evil eye so there it, it's protecting you against the evil eye all these people it's wanting to come up against you because they know that they know that you must be something special and can we have a little message i'll give you a little cabbage patch message hang on this is my tarot deck oh this is your new beginning New beginning, death, queen of wands, other devil. What else, spirit? What, what's the outcome? Okay. And strength is on the bottom. So what it's saying is, this is your fool's journey, and this is a rob slob, and this is this is your journey. This is about a long life, changing adventure. Watch your step. Look before you leap. Your mind has been wandering, maybe, on your new journey. <laughs> and then death came out, and this is a grim gem, and, you know, this is beginnings and endings and transformation. So, I think that you had to put an end to a, a relationship, and this is your new beginning. And you're on, you're on your right path, so don't worry. And this is Queen of Wands. And this is, what's it say? Wacky Wendy. Wacky Wendy. Look, she's pushing a Q-tip all the way through her ears. This is, uh, you're someone who's very showy, and you got an outgoing personality, or a person who commands attention you're full of charm that's what you are you're full of charm now baby you're attracting attention don't you think you ain't oh the devil looky there at the devil and that is cranky that's old cranky frankie and hot scott <laughs> scott my brother at pays way huh and my son's middle name is scott <laughs> that's old hot scott and this is a Instant gratification, acting impulsively, you know, this is, you was, you was tied to this person, and it could have been an Aries Lee or Sag woman since it come out, uh, uh, you know, Queen of Wands, it could have been this, uh, woman that was coming up against you, and she stabbed you in the back, that's all, uh, send, pinned Lynn, and this is a painful and devastating loss that you had to go through. Whether this was a job, a dream, or a project, this ending was sudden. And, you know, uh, it, it hurt you. It, this was a painful ending. You had to cut ties with this devil. And this is a hot rod right here. You're getting ready to receive things that's speeding up in your life. It, it, incoming messages is coming. So you're, you're, get, you're getting ready to receive a message from somebody. Pisces, and it could be um, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag, a Scorpio. That's Aries, Leo, Sag again, or a Capricorn, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that's Aries, Leo, Sag again. So one of them signs is wanting to come in hot and fast to you now, okay, Pisces? Let me give you an angel. One of my angels. Nobody has permission to copy my angel gifts. No one ever thought of gifts like this, but I did, and they're mine, and nobody can copy it. And because God protects me. And I know it. Your angels gave you the gift of being able to manifest anything that you desire or wish for because you have good intentions and you are very balanced. You're like a genie in a bottle, baby. A genie in a bottle is giving you a wish. Did you hear that? Your angels gave you the gift to understand others and to see when people are doing you wrong behind your back. And if they talk about you behind your back, you just know it. People be like, why 
does she or he do the things they do because Spirit shows us how to do things? That's why. Yeah, that my angel's gifts. Do you love my angel gifts? If you love my angel gifts, hit like. Your angels gave you the gift of chastity. You know you're saving yourself for your godly partner. When you exercise chastity, it will always make God smile. For you didn't fall for a person who only wanted to play with your feelings after all. God loves you that you didn't fall. 1515 for that person. Whoever it was, Pisces. And you're saving yourself for somebody great. And that's what you need to do. And Spirit said they love you now. They love you very much. And they appreciate you for everything you do. That's what Spirit wants me to tell you, okay? And I love y'all. And um, what come out is surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So you had to surrender it all to the divine in reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So that's what you had to do. You had to surrender it and you're trusting and you have the faith and it'll all work out. Okay, Pisces? And if you like this reading, um, I thank you very much. If you would hit like, and if you're new, if you'd please hit subscribe to help my channel grow. I love you guys, and I'm trying to get to 500 so I can give some decks away. I'm actually a reader that's trying to give back. But I've been getting pushed against, and that's okay, because I'm not going to give up. And I love you guys. Papa Pieces, 1616. I love you.